Okay, this is one of those. This is one of those nebula projectors. What you see here is the inside. This is the outer lens. It projects a spiral of the nebula. You've got sort of you've got a spiral lens cover, which distorts the light into a swirl. You've got the hole there for the star projector, which is the green LED. Sorry, green laser module here. Upon which, inside is a uh, sorry, in the hole here. This hole here, where the laser module sits, you've got this little green, um, sorry, little um, diffraction grating, which splits the laser beam up into stars. Okay, I'll show you that now. Turn the laser on. Whoops. Stars mode, there we go. There's the laser. I'll get the tweezers and show you the diffraction grating. Spin it around carefully. You'll see it converts. Oh, where's it gone? There it is. Converts into stars. There you go. It splits the beam up into stars. Try that again without scratching it. very finely etched piece of glass with laser etchings on it which splits the laser beam up. So that belongs in the hole there. In that hole. Shake it till it'll settle down. See it's covering the see in there now it's covering the hole. See the rainbow effect? That's the microscopic laser etched surface which splits the diffra diffraction grating, okay? Two seconds, please. So, with the laser module back in the recess, you can see the laser module is pressing against the um, diffraction grating gently and projecting stars, excuse the mess, projecting stars everywhere. Very nice. There we go, it's back in now. The laser module is held in place with a flange screw, the flange of which overlaps the module. It just holds it in place. As you can see, there's a green laser diode there with a, some sort of Molex connector or something. Just plug into it and held on with some gunk. Here we have the let me just turn this on. This is the mottled, I'll, I'll call this a mottled plastic distortion wheel, which sits at uh, perpendicular to a RGB LED. I thought it was multiple LEDs, but it's not, it's just one. You've got the speaker in there, there's a Bluetooth speaker in here. Well, the, the, the speaker, loudspeaker for a Bluetooth speaker, which is part of the circuit board here. This board here. Powered by USB-C. Um, this wheel rotates at various speeds. Now I can speed up and slow it down with my app. I've got an app on my other phone. It speeds up and slows it down. Okay. Which I'll show you now. Connect the Bluetooth up. Doesn't want to pair, does it? Pair new device. Oh, I thought it was paired already. Yes, okay. So here's the app. It's called M1 Light. It's looking for the device. Switch it off. Switch it on. Change the colour. So that's one single very high brightness chip on board, cob I think, LED, under that disc. I'm looking to adjust the speed of the disc by and the brightness of the LED. The speed of the disc by doing this, look. Faster, slower. 
write this down. Colour. Very versatile. Three colours, which is basically switching all three pixels on at once, all three LED chips on at once, which is RG and B. And the muffled wheel splits them. And this distortion, this vortex distortion lens hood thing, which will then split that distorted light even more. Look at that, look, that's the star projector. It shouldn't be on. I leave that off most of the time because it gets sprays, laser beams everywhere. You don't want that in your eyes, believe me. So, turn that off. So what you're seeing is a device which is distorting the, the beam coming from the chip, the LED chip, then further distorting it with a rotating mottled wheel. Sorry, no, that's wrong. A disc which is which is distorting the light from the from the chip, the LED chip, right? Look at the speed up a bit. So that's distorting it. It's actually much brighter than that in reality. It's about there. So that's distorting it. A little bit like a privacy glass type situation. You know you get privacy glass on toilet doors and stuff, that's what that is. And it's flat underneath, I think. Yeah, it's flat underneath. And it's got texture on the top. So it's pretty colours on my finger. So there's microscopic lensing effect happening on the disc. So that distorts the light and splits into its different components. Well, it's not it's not combined properly into white light. It's not pure white light. It's a combination of three chips, which are in three chips inside the LED, which are in close, close proximity. So it's not true white, white light anyway. You can see that there. That's the LED there with three separate chips in. Just see those. Anyway, so that on top of this, this this um, hood, this uh, dome, top of that, splits that mottled light even further. Into that pattern up to there, you can see up there. This is like a swirly sort of, very nice swirly nebula type effect. Faster, brighter. The full brightness. There we go. It's about where the hood off. What's it look like with the hood off? With the hood off, you get like a mottled design, which is odd, I think. Not particularly amazing. It's interesting. Sort of cloudy effect. It's a very clever machine. Slow that down. A bit more. There we go. So that's inside a nebula projector. All the gubbins are there, Bluetooth, the speaker amplifier, the USB-C socket here. The power comes in. And you've got a, a lead for your laser coming from the board. Uh, a lead for the motor. And a lead for the speaker. And a lead for the chip. The LED chip, which you can see, look a bit closer now, just in there, where these red, green and blue wires are going to, that's LED, LED chip just there. That little uh, white disc with a dome on top of it. 